The History of Mountain Biking My favorite sport is mountain biking, and it started right here in Marin. It also has a fascinating history behind it all. Cycling in the 1960s was mostly road, but for centuries, some people rode bikes on trails, but not for sport. And the bikes back then had wood tires, but now all bikes have balloon tires. A balloon tire is a type of wide, large volume, low pressure tire that first appeared on cruiser bikes in the US in the 1930s. Counterculture and long hair was not okay at road bike races, so Charlie Kelly was not allowed to race because of his hair. Joe Breeze, Otis Guy, Gary Fisher, Charlie Kelly, and many others made what we know as the mountain bike. In the early 1970s, cyclists in and around Marin County started assembling clunkers, using salvaged paper boy bikes from the 1930s and 40s, and bombing down Tams Pass and fire roads. But Joe Breeze is normally credited with introducing the first purpose-built mountain bike. He made frames and started a brand called Breezer. The parts the bikes had and the trails they rode was enough to convince anyone that these were mountain bikes. In the fall of 1976, Kelly organized the first series of downhill races, called Repack, named for the maintenance required after skidding through 52 turns on coaster brakes. By the time you got to the bottom, the grease would have burnt into a contrail of smoke. You'd have to go home and repack the hub. Brakes weren't the only thing that took a beating. Kelly broke so many frames that eventually he asked Breezer to build him something stronger. In 1977, Breeze built the first of ten frames, inspired by his 1941 Swinzer Dimensions. He used steel alloy tubing and strengthened them with distinctive twin lateral tubes running diagonally across the frames. Then he outfitted them with new parts, creating the world's first purpose-built mountain bike. Breeze's first frame, he rode to victory in a repack race, and it is also a part of the Mountain Bike Hall of Fame, which is not far from Mount Tam. Most bikes look like the Breezer today. Joe Breeze is one of the central figures in development of mountain bikes. He is best known as the designer, builder, and first successful modern mountain bike. His Breezers were the first all-new bikes built with rugged frames specifically for mountain biking. Breeze became a leading designer and proponent of the sport that has gotten more people on bikes in the Western world than any time since the 1890s. Breeze said that we were just having fun in a Wired interview. Otis has built bicycle frames since 1982 and has his own racing team for many years, the first team to ride full suspension cross-country bikes. Otis was an early advocate of road seat tube angles, steeper head tube angles, and shorter chain stay on a mountain bike frame. During the early years, Kelly, Gary Fisher, and Tom Ritchie formed a team which solidified many areas of growth in the mountain bike industry. Between the three of them, rapid advances were made in mountain biking technology. Encouragement was handed out to the likes of racers, including Joe Murray. They all continued to participate in the sport in different areas and have been elected in the Hall of Fame. Mountain biking today is a sport that millions enjoy and will be in the 2020 Olympics, which is crazy. Mountain biking support is supportive of counterculture and long hair, but has now gone mainstream in the mountain bike community, as so is cycling. Did you know that 40 million people ride mountain bikes? and 43 million people ride road bikes, and there are 142,000 miles of trail, and there are 208 bike brands, and the Appetite Seminar in Fairfax is the longest running mountain bike event in the world. Fairfax is also where the Mountain Bike Museum is.
you should join White Hill Mountain Bike Club. You'll get good fitness out of it, and you'll have lots of fun. Here's a video of the early repack races I put together. Thank you.